guys, and welcome back to another episode of Crooked Man. And, um, well, I'm just gonna get right to it. So, hopefully, everything is working alright. I. Oh, phone calls. Okay. Phone calls are always nice. Alright, back at home. Oh, man, we already started. Man, we just started the game and people are already cussing. Okay. hasn't answered a single call. What is he up to? And where? Paul? What do we do? I know we shouldn't have left David alone. Oh, how dare you guys leave David alone? Marianne, get a hold of yourself. How can I become about this? Oh, then, gee, Marianne. I forgot what you look like, too. David's so worn out from things with his mother and Shirley. He's even suffering over old wounds. I was always scared for him. Scared that he'd do something there was no turning back. Remember, you gotta check to see if we're recording a hundred times. I was always scared for him. Scared that he'd do something there was no turning back. I suggested moving. I suggested moving. To get his mind clear. But that didn't help. Now did it. Oh. It wasn't a bad idea. But it was a mistake for me to pick that place. Huh? I'll call again. If he doesn't answer, we're calling the police. Hello? What do you mean? Why would the room be? Ugh. Don't, ugh. Don't tell me ghost stories are at... Don't tell me ghost stories at a time like this. Always talking about how you see things and... All static. David, Dev, where are you? Central Hospital. Central Hospital? It's a state over. Why are you over there? Listen, I'll find you. So wait for me. Don't so much as move a muscle. Don't so much as move a muscle. Does that make sense? I don't know. Don't come. Please don't. Leave me alone. I don't know what's happening here. But David, you got it. David! Hey, David! Yeah, he's in another state. He'll probably take about a day to get there on a motorcycle. Marlin, I'm going to get David. I'm going with you. David's my fr David is my friend too. I can't just ignore him at a time like this. All right, let's go. Let's go on an adventure to find David. Also, my chair is so squeaky. I'm sorry if that bothers you. <laughs> Oh. David's car. I feel like I just adopted David's accent into Paul's. David's car? He's gotta still be here. Come on, Mary. Don't go don't go country. Don't go that way out. Just just be American. Come on, Mary. Come on, Marion. It's dark, so stay close behind me. Right. Right. It's okay for Marion to be country though. Oh my gosh. Hello? What's happening in here? Should I save? I'm saving. Oh boy. Let's just save. What is it? No country for him! What else? Footsteps? Sarah, they were from upstairs. Is that you, David? Well, first, I should definitely. Hello? Okay. I'm gonna get two of you files. Because I need it in my life. Okay, so upstairs you say? Well, we're going upstairs. We're gonna find a dude. Is he on the roof? I don't know where he is. Where'd I? Oh. What? 
Who's there? Who's there? What are you? What are you? What are you doing here? Sissy? Sissy? Is that Sissy? What is happening? I'm shook. A girl? Hey, what are you? What are you doing here in this old place? You hate sissies like me, don't you? Huh? But your friend is important to you, right? Man, man, she's scary. Hey! Who the heck are you? What's this- what's this about? Go see him. Man, the uh, was that? Yeah, yeah, I wonder too. Looks like, looks like David has been really mean to possessed people. So then what does that mean the crooked man is, huh? What is he? Is he actually dead? Is he gonna come back? I mean... Okay, now where do I go? Well, doesn't look like anybody is hiding out in here. Gonna go back downstairs and see what's happening down there. Hello? Oh, the elevator's closed. <laughs> oh, does that matter? I don't think it does. Oh, the cat. Oh, yeah, there's a gal there. I don't like that. That cat is so sad. <laughs> Anybody in the cafeteria? Nope. Nope. I don't think that's a cafeteria either. Gosh, I need, I need to learn my directions. What has happened? It's like I haven't played this game in a few days and this is what happens. Hello? Any, anybody behind the curtains? No? No, just just that? Okay. Okay. That's cool. Fine by me. Everything is painted over. Oh boy. Who, who does this? Who paints over the keyholes? Stop painting over the keyholes. Keyholes. Whoever is doing that. Okay. Okay. Here. No. How about we go into like the Forsaken areas? Oh. Oh. Hey D, is that you? Someone else. David? Hey. Who are you? D, my buddy! Yo! The What are you doing here all alone? You better you better not lock him out, right? Hey. He's your friend, right? Go on to save him. Tell him the truth. Huh? The truth? What? I'm counting on you. Goodbye. Goodbye. I don't. I don't understand. Oh uh, what? Why are there so many people here? I don't get it. I don't get it either. Kid, thank you. Thank you. But like, so if I if I know correctly, um, Fluffy is supposed to be somewhere. And if I knew anywhere Fluffy would be... The roof? We'd be on the roof! I kinda think he would be on the roof. I mean, that, that don't- that only really makes sense, right? Fluffy, my boy! In the roof? I don't know where to- Yeah. I forgot where the roof was. I'm still terrible. <laughs> I don't know where the roof is. Where's the roof? Is it up? You're here. You're here, Fluffy. I have a feeling. Or, or wait, what? There was a crooked man, and he walked a crooked mile, and then... Uh, uh, Fluffy, my boy. You're still here. You didn't leave. A kid? 
D don't tell me a kid's wondering here. <gasps> he found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked stile. He brought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse. K what are you doing? What 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 are you doing? And they all live together in the crooked little hills. Hey, you listening to me? Then he had a crooked thought. Why is crookedness my lot? Why must I be crooked instead of being not? So the crooked man will cry. And he couldn't fathom why. Man, this kid has a great vocabulary if he knows what fathom is. He was sad all the time, and he sighed, and so he rose to rise to the side. Don't make it dark. Mr. Davis, wait for you. Go see him. Hey, 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 hey. That's what I'm gonna say right now. Like hey, hey. What was, who was with that kid? Why do you know David? Did he meet him? Forget about it. Let's go, Marion. Oh? Marion? What's up? Zealine! Stop it. Are you teasing me? Don't you know this isn't the time for that? Huh? Marion? What do you mean, teasing you? Just who do you keep talking to? Oh. Wait, wait, can't. Wait, what's happening? What is happening? What is that sound? I don't like that sound. Oh boy. Huh? Huh? Stop trying to spook me. I know there wouldn't be anyone here. We just need to find David. No jokes. So. That's it? Marion, go to the hospital. Sorry for uh, trying to spook you. Don't worry, I'll find David. Wait, wait. I'll just stay with you. If, if anything happened to you, I'll be putting two family members in danger. Please, just trust me. Alright, please. Come back quickly. Right. Oh. I don't like that sound. Just away from me, David. Okay. Oh. Oh boy, I want to end that sound effect. That's scary. I don't like it. I disapprove. Okay, below. Where is it coming from? Hello? Anyway, is it back? No? You gonna go through the hole? Okay, never mind. Don't don't go through it. Where where are you hanging out, dude? Let's play a game of hot and cold. Hello. to find you oh. oh nothing here okay that's cool here anything no yeah 
What are these still? Are those dead bodies? I mean, this is messed up. Oh, hi. Uh, up here? So, yeah, playing like a spinning record. Where can I go? Like, is he on the roof? I wanna know, is he on the roof? That, that's the only place I can really think of. Oh, hi Marianne, where do you- Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, where did you come from? I thought you left. Wait, I, I can swear that I didn't have you beside me. Oh, this could be it, guys. Roof, roof, roof. David, 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 what are you, what are you doing out there? Um, heck yeah, we're gonna open the door. Oh, David, whatever you do, don't jump. David, I like you. No. Whatever you do, don't jump. I like you. David? Paul? Why? Why are you here? Came to pick you up. I'll ask for a good explanation later. For now, you're coming home. Forget about me. Just leave me alone. Hey, Dave? STAY AWAY! I hope you didn't grab the pistol. Don't have the pistol out. <gasps> David! No! David, no! Wasn't that like a book title? Okay, never mind, don't. David! You! Uh, I'm, I'm hopeless! I keep walking, but I see nothing! I'll never ever be happy! I, I'm a crooked man. No matter what, that's what I'll be. And those are the only things I'll have. David, what, what, what is that? Oh, oh, he's back. What, what? Agony. Living is agony. Nothing will go how I want it. So right here, right now, David. What? What? Oh dear God, what do I do here? Um, I don't, I don't. I'll, I'll, I'll take the gun. Take the gun. I feel like this is gonna have like a bad ending. Why? Why are you? Why you, do you have that gun anyway? Give me that. Oh no, I feel like something bad's gonna happen. I think I just messed up. Stop! Let me go! Just leave me be! Afraid I can't do that, David. You're my- Stop! Huh? What did you do, David? Uh -huh. Oh no! 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 Bad ending! Bad ending! Bad ending! Uh, no! Paul! Did- did- did I- did I just- do you? I- I did it! It- it can't be! I- I really- Killed. Oh, no, David. No, David. Not your fault. I tried to grab the gun. It was all me. 
It's not your fault, man. Also, man, God, my dialogue reading is so intense. David, you're not a bad guy. Bad end. Bad end. Just say it. Oh no. <laughs> Don't tell me. David. Who? Why? Why did I unlock that? I should have unlocked that. that, that that's just terrible. You know what? Why couldn't you just. I don't know what you could have done, but like. Get out of this. Let's go home. Let's go home, David. Go, go get out of your apartment, haunted apartment and stuff. Like, this is so depressing. I'm sorry, Paul. Okay, bad end four. Good thing that's a bad end. So, um, what should we do next time, huh? Do we punch him? Do we punch David? Do we persuade him? This is interesting. Okay. Let's let's do this again. Alright, so um do we have this does this mean we have to meet everybody again? Okay. I'm cool with that. So first off we go to the top floor. Then we talk to like that man, yes. Sis I mean sissy. Yeah, we talk to sissy, okay. My god, we came a lot far away in this game whenever you see the old characters again. Okay. Stop talking, Marion. I, I mean, Paul and Marion, I don't care. I, I have duties to attain to. I don't really know what kind, but like... I, I have a job. Go ahead, though, Judy. Yo! What's up? Hey, my name is D. And I'm a man. Tell him the truth. How do we all figments of imagination? Now, Fluffy, wherever the heck you are. Where the heck are you, Fluffy? Also, stay in here. Don't want to put up with your stuff later. Where else can I save? Oh, I'll save here. And there. <laughs> just, just have multiple, like, 10,000 save files. I mean, I mean... Okay, here you go. Here you go, kid. Stay in your little one tune. The one tune that everyone loves you for. Yeah, yeah, no, I get it. Oh, wait. I'm just getting something now. Wait, wait, what was Fluffy? Leading me to the roof all alone. Fluffy. I swear to God. <laughs> oh, no, not this sound. I hate that sound. Stop talking. More moving. More moving. Stop talking. Move. Move. Wait. Wait a sec. Wait, wait where is she going then? I thought... Was that a glitch? Is this a glitch job marrying around? I feel like it is. Is it? What? What? First off, save me here again. Don't want to put up with this later. Okay, here we go. Back out on the roof. Oh, don't open the door. Just stay out. Oh boy. Welcome. <sighs> oh. 
Oh. No. My god, the animation's... My god, this, this is just creepy. Okay. Twist this time, um... Where if every ending kills David in every way. What? Hey! Ah! Uh, oh! Uh, step! Step! Ah! Uh. Hiya! Karate. That's that's what it feels like. That hurts. Stop, you moron! David, you back with us? Don't say that like I went nuts. I've been insane from the start. Whatever you say. Like, that's the kind of saying you do, saying, I'll have to beat you up till you promise not to. Yeah, you're telling tell him, Paul. Now, about the stuff you've been doing, you better tell me everything that happened. Oh, okay. Hmm. Oh, what's this music? Hmm. Sissy, D, and Fluffy, and a crooked monster. Marion, what are you doing, Marion? <laughs> You're just gonna sit like that? Ooh. Yeah, just do your thing, Marion. Oh, so you believe in the monster? That's my occult fanatic. Well, you see, it's not exactly fennec, fennactim, fennactim, what? Don't, I uh, always tell you that, I see saints. You and Marian never believe me. Sheesh. Hey, Marian's right there! <laughs> anyway, about Sissy, D, and the kiddo, I think I met him. Huh? That's ridiculous! Well, Fluffy, maybe, but Sissy and Dee wouldn't be here. Listen up, David. People's consciousness, they sort of stick around in places. More of your uh, coat. What? I'm sorry, don't understand what you're saying sometimes. You seriously making fun of the occult after this? Just listen. And no jokes. So you've had a pretty similar to the guy who used to live in your room, right? Shattered dreams, bad breakup, family trouble. When I first looked at the place, it was fine. But once you moved in, I had a strange feeling. From you and from the room. I have to guess the guy's consciousness was perfect was a perfect match with you. Gotta be why you wanted to meet the guy too. So you're saying he's calling me? Yep. And you're unconsciously responding. Some people are soft hearted to the core, sympathize with others. And they get taken advantage of and they get taken advantage of the most. Taken advantage of? Look, don't I barely know the guy? You know a little from the stuff he left. And that was all stuff you got. And that was all stuff you got. You could identify with. So, what will you think of a guy who's the spitting image of you? Would you hate him? Or like him? Ooh, you asking deep questions there, Paul. 
Uh, I don't know. I'm guessing both. Same as him. Sink, but sink back. To cook a man, try to kill you. Try to jog you with him. But, uh, but on the other hand, weren't there people who relied on you, who wanted your help? What? Oh gosh! <laughs> Flashbacks! Flashbacks! No, oh, so sad. He hated you, but he liked you. He saw he could share his suffering with you, so he was seeking your help. And that's why you met these, you met those people. Oh, the music really makes it make this so deep. That's what I'm thinking. Honestly, I'm not sure if it's right. It's not quite right. He wasn't seeking my help. He, he helped me. Got me back on my feet. Again, that's you and him being similar. What's up? The sky! There's something in my pocket. When did I pick this up? An address. And I don't think it's that far. And I don't think it's that far. Another mission? One more mission? A one more mission? Oh. I'm going. I have to meet him. You could always not. What if something happens? I feel like if I don't go, the crooked man will follow me forever. So, I'm going. David! <laughs> I love how we have Marion with us still. <laughs> you come back to us safe. I, I don't want to go to my friend's funeral. This is so sad. This dialogue, this is great. I love this game. Yeah, I know. Thanks. And, well, guys, I think this is where I'm going to end the episode for today because, or tonight, because, wow, that's a lot to take in. Looks like we got one more mission left, and, well, perhaps that might be the end. And, well, guys, I'll see you again next episode. Goodbye!